Our first United Kingdom radio affiliate, Apollo Radio UK. Thrilled to expand into another country, Lewis. Fantastic. Of very, very big for us. Poll results. Rate Sarah Palin's GOP candidate chances. 51% say she has absolutely no chance. 30% say it's unlikely. 18% say she's got a good chance or she's the, the front runner. I think Sarah Palin is done. The new poll on davidpackman.com. How will the AOL Huffington Post buyout affect media dialogue? Will it add to the homogeneity of corporate media? Will it have no real effect? Will it increase the diversity of voices? We'll have results for you next week. Emails on the Groupon Tibet ads that we saw during the Super Bowl. I really enjoy your show, but tend to disagree not so much with your characterization of the Groupon Tibet commercial as tasteless, but with the hypocritical outrage by people who purchase hundreds, if not thousands, of Chinese-made goods every single year. Anyone who buys Chinese goods is at the very least indirectly supporting the Chinese rape of Tibet. A large reason behind China annexing Tibet was for their natural resources and, more importantly, water. If the rest of the world wasn't supporting the Chinese Industrial Revolution, then Chinese water pollution and the need for Tibetan water may not have been as much of a problem. My point isn't that the commercial was humorous or that it wasn't tasteless. My argument is that people are sens sensationalizing one tasteless act while also affirmatively supporting with their consumerism the root of the problem, China. This is a valid email. It is a correct email. And I cannot disagree. I, I can't uh, agree with you more. But that does not change the fact that the ad was belittling problems in Tibet. My initial reaction was, hey, it's at least mentioning Tibet. I have not been swayed into thinking that that is really the right position. I think it was offensive on all fronts. Uh, on changing rape victim to rape accuser. The Christian equivalent of Sharia law is what Republicans endorse. They want government out of their lives if it comes to touching their precious money. But they want to meddle in the private affairs of individuals by deciding who they can marry and whether or not they can get a legal abortion if it's needed. They not only want abortions eliminated, they also want to teach abstinence instead of safe sex. They need to be relegated to the history books along with other medieval figures. And also, shaming women is a GOP tradition. What I'd like to know is how hard are Democrats fighting this? Some are fighting it, but you're right. The, the voices are not united. Democrats need to get more engaged. See you on The Bonus Show, davidpackman.com slash membership. The David Pakman Show at davidpackman.com.